Howdy friendos, Crazy Jason here, and welcome to yet another edition of my movie adventures. I'm so excited because today kicks off the official Barnes and Noble Criterion sale, the infamous sale that drives everyone into a fever pitch and puts many of us into bankruptcy. The coupon situation's not exactly where I want it to be. Uh, the only coupon that I see that I could use tonight would be a $5 off a $50 purchase or more, which is fine. It's a fine coupon. Uh, the thing is, I've used that in every sale that I've participated in, uh, but at the same time, I use it in conjunction with other coupons. I, in other words, I stack them. Um, I have heard rumors from a good source that there are some uh, good coupons coming out hopefully later this week for at least 20% off. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna bide my time and wait for those coupons, but one title that I cannot wait on any longer is Dazed and Confused. Of course, I have the HD DVD version of Dazed and Confused, and it looks pretty damn good. I would imagine that that's what the, uh, pretty much what the Universal Blu-ray looks like. I don't know for sure. And uh, yes, I am crazy enough that I will eventually pick up the Universal Blu-ray when I can grab it for, you know, $8 or $5 or whatever. Just because I'm a, kind of a crazy completist with Dazed and Confused and I'm gonna, you know, get every edition that's ever been put out eventually. So that's the plan tonight, folks. Going uh, to Barnes & Noble to pick up Dazed and Confused. I'm sure that nothing else will happen along the way. Okay, folks, so before I go pick up my Criterion, I need to stop in here and get me some noodles. Yep, gonna get some bourbon chicken, and that's all I'm gonna do. Just stopping for food. That's it. Nothing else. What else could there be? Why nothing at all? except uh, blockage of the road, which will make me walk further, which is very unappreciated. In fact, I uh, find this highly discourteous and uh, will demand to speak to the uh, proprietor of this establishment. Out of FYE. That's right. So? So? So the frack what? Okay, so I um, I did a little trade in. I took in some DVDs, a bunch of old, you know, crappy DVDs, and I traded them in. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because you'll see the prices and you'll be like, hey, crazy, that's cheaper elsewhere. I know, I know, but let me explain myself. Well, this needs no explanation. $14.99 is an okay price for this. I have been looking for this forever. I've been monitoring it on Amazon. It's been a good deal, but I've been wanting to lay my hands on it out on a bargain hunt, so I finally got it. Last Samurai. Um, yeah, you know, Tom Cruise. I, I like Tom Cruise. And uh, you know what? I certainly like Edward Zwick as a director, and I've never seen this movie. This is a blind buy, but I've been told that if I like historical you know, epics with lots of action sequences, uh, then I'll like this movie. I don't know about the historical accuracy. I don't know about Tom Cruise's accent. I don't know any of that. I just know that I think I'm going to enjoy this film. And the other thing that I got, very curious. I got Rounders on Blu-ray. Now, here's the thing. Yes, this is $14.99. Hey, crazy! It's been reported that it's $5 at Target. True that. But one, I haven't seen it at Target. And the other thing is, I was having a lot of trouble with that crappy Photoshopped cover that they put on the new Blu-ray. If you haven't seen it, you know, just Google it, look it up. Uh, the new Rounders Blu-ray. Horrible, horrible cover. This is actually the DVD cover. <coughs> What this is, this is the uh, Alliance Canadian release from a couple of years ago. I don't know anything about the PQ. 
It has no special features. I just know that I've wanted this movie on Blu-ray for a very, very long time. Yes, I paid more money for that cover. I, I just couldn't hack. You know, it's like, uh, have you seen the cover for uh, Better Off Dead? Have you seen that Drek? And how about the cover for the Universal release of Dazed and Confused? Have you seen that? What is it with studios these days? It's like the exec is just sitting there at his table and, uh, you know, they hire some 19-year-old kid straight out of graphic design school and they pay him $50 to spend 30 minutes designing. Just do, go, do, do whatever, just design. And it comes across the executive's desk and he just signs off and doesn't even look at it. Yeah, there we go. Let that go out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Press uh, 5 million copies and let that represent our studio. This is a major... Uh, cult classic catalog title. Just push it out there and this will represent us, Universal Studios. Yes, that's great. We're the best around and nothing can keep us down. Fracking, frackity frack. Okay, now, finally. Finally going to Barnes & Noble to pick up my Criterion. I have some sad news tonight, folks. That's right. Um, this is the last Barnes & Noble in Greenville that now sells Blu-rays and DVDs. That's right. Um, the the other store, I called them a couple of weeks ago and they said, oh yeah, we got rid of our DVD and Blu-ray section and expanded our kids section. Really? Fracking kids! Fracking kids! Okay, friendos out of Barnes and Noble. And as I indicated, I did just get dazed and confused. And uh, as I explained before, um, there are some more coupons coming out, hopefully later this week, that should be pretty good, like 20%, maybe 25%, maybe even more. But I want to wait till those other coupons come out and do some stacking situations, you know. I remember in the last sale, I got Night of the Hunter for under $13 by stacking coupons. Um, Three Colors Trilogy, uh, that doesn't release until the 15th. I will definitely be getting that. But yes, I'm very happy to finally have Dazed and Confused on Blu-ray. Now this is the same exact packaging as the DVD, it's just smaller. I mean, you know, Criterion figures, if it's not broke, why fix it? I know I'm going home tonight and I'm gonna be blitzed out of my mind. I mean, I'm gonna be stone cold sober and I'm going to watch this movie. I'm back. That's right. Heading back to Barnes & Noble. Just as I foretold, they came out with a 20% off coupon. So now, now it's time to go back proper and stack up some coupons. Yes, I have a list. And it is in a Charlie Brown book. A Criterion Blu-ray list and a Charlie Brown book. Hey, crazy. Blu-ray list, eh? What about DVD? Frack DVD. Well, not completely. Not completely. Because there is something. F for fake. I'm definitely picking that up. I've been wanting that forever. And that's on DVD. It's alright. You know, I, it just depends on the title. But I really, really am trying to go completely Blu-ray now. Um, they'll be coming out with more and more sets on Blu-ray, and I don't want to buy DVD sets that in a year are going to be out on Blu-ray. And uh, quite frankly, just in general, I've become extraordinarily tired of uh, going back and forth. You know, watching a Blu-ray, then watching a DVD, then watching two Blu-rays, followed by three DVDs. You get the idea. I'm tired of going back and forth between the formats. I just had a completely unrelated thought that just floated through my head. You know how you're always finding out about uh, things that the super rich do, things that are, you know, kind of weird and surprising? Well, you know, uh, rich folks, and, and not just the super rich, but, uh, you know, moderately wealthy individuals, don't buy suits off the rack. You know, they, uh, <clears throat> they're fitted for their attire. So I'm wondering if, if, if uh, folks of certain means, men, that is, are, are fitted for condoms. Hmm. Ever thought about that? I mean, you know, think about it. 
We all come in different shapes and sizes and varieties. You know, it's another idea to put up there um, on the Wacky Emporium along with Mother's Milk, I think. Uh, something I could really market. Um, because I would think the experience itself of, of the sizing, you know, the, the, the process. Um, I'm not thinking of a, a, of a little Jewish man with a, uh, a little ropey, ropey, that's not sounding good at all. No, but I would think the the uh, that uh, a man of means uh, would would want the proper shape and size, um, perhaps uh, his initials, uh, just like he would have on his kerchief. Okay, friendos, here we are at Barnes and Noble yet once again. Ooh, look at these. Primo parking spaces. That's right, folks. I called ahead and I told them that I was a Criterion connoisseur. And they uh, said, uh, well, of course, crazy. Oh, fuck. Okay, guys. Now, coupled with the uh, Dazed and Confused that I bought the other day, now this is a proper Criterion haul right here. And uh, what happened is... Um, I used the $5 off a $50 or more purchase coupon. Um, also, I used a 20% off any one item coupon. So I was able to use both. Um, I'm not going to run down the numbers for you, but you can figure it out. Um, plus my 10% off membership card, which is $25. And folks, if you partake of these sales, um, it pays for itself over and over again. Plus you get free shipping on the Barnes & Noble website, so let's dig right in. I finally picked up Black Narcissus. Um, I saw this movie initially on Turner Classic Movies and I thought it was just a beautiful, gripping drama um, and I cannot wait to watch this on Blu-ray. Um, if you're a fan of uh, Powell and Pressburger, then um, you know I highly, highly recommend uh, picking this up uh, from the same team that brought you the red shoes. Next up, I'm not going to even uh, attempt to pronounce this, even though uh, French is one of the few foreign languages that I'm uh, usually pretty good at pronouncing. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Jean-Luc Godard. Um, it's uh, one of his early films, 1962. And uh, I don't know. I just the, the story is what gets me. I've never. This is a blind buy for me. I've not seen this film, but um, I'm very interested in the story. And the black and white photography is supposed to be beautiful. Uh, of course, the editing is supposed to be great. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this one. Uh, next up, I finally picked up F for Fake. Uh, this is one that has been on my wish list for a long time. I wanted to pick it up in the last sale, but just ran out of time and or money. But yep, F for Fake. This is actually a two-disc set. Um, has a lot of really interesting looking supplements, so this is another one I am eager to dive into. And the last one I picked up is another one that's been on my wish list. And uh, it's one that I really, really did mean to get in the last sale, but really just ran out of time. And that's uh, Repulsion. Um, this is another one that I'm really greatly looking forward to. So uh, four movies that I'm really excited to sit down and watch um, immediately as opposed to sometimes I buy some Criterions and uh, they sit on the shelf for six months and I don't watch them. I want to watch all of these ASAP. One good thing about uh, purchasing uh, Dazed and Confused the other night and then you know, adding this on to the uh, movie adventures is that uh, I had a chance to watch Dazed and Confused. I watched it that very same night, as a matter of fact. And I have to say that the PQ is fine. I don't mean the PQ, it, it's fine. I don't mean that. I mean it is fine. Like a fine wine or a fine woman. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It kicks the ass of the HD DVD and uh, I haven't seen the uh, Universal Blu-ray, so I can't comment on that, but um, it's the only way I could ever watch that movie again, to be honest with you. Um, it's 
I don't know. I don't. I don't have words to describe it. It just that movie captures the '70s. It's like a, a movie that was made in the '70s, put in a time vault, and then brought out into the '90s and uh, released in theaters. And this Blu-ray, man, you just see all the little details. So that'll do her. Thank you for riding along with me on my movie adventures, baby.